What is up everybody, Joey here. I know first thing you're probably asking yourself is why are you not on a lake right now? It is pretty crazy. And I'm asking myself the same question. However, today we have a special catch and cook episode we're gonna do for you. We are cooking lobster and bourbon, so-called eel pelt, poor man's lobster. Everyone messages me saying, is bourbon good to eat? Is it the real thing? Does it taste like lobster? The question is, to me, the way I cook it, I love it. They're probably my favorite fish to eat above walleye, above perch, above everything. <laughs> Simply because the way I cook it tastes exactly like crab. And if you are a crab lover, you will love this fish. No one wants to tell you that. No one wants you to know that. But if you know how to cook it right, you better believe they're one of the best fish to eat. Super simple recipe. We're doing both recipes the same way. Okay, we're gonna boil them and then we're gonna put them in a pan and basically fry it in garlic butter until it comes to a nice little good little crisp on the side. So our contestants don't really know what's going on um, and we're gonna see which one they like better, either the burbot or the actual lobster, like Maine lobster, like freaking ocean lobster. Like, we will see what they choose. These are the ingredients we're gonna be doing. Garlic, we got olive oil, we got butter, we got two lemons, got some salt, one cup of sugar, that's the burbot. These are the loins, so we're doing the loins, the top back strap, and then this is our lobster that we got minced up too. It's a little bit different today. We're gonna be doing, obviously, a cook, just a, a cook. I mean, I'll put a little clip of me catching this burbot. I see one. I see one. Got one on me. Got one. Yeah, yeah I'm on. Yeah. I saw him too. Yeah, it's a bird for sure. Oh, this is a big burby. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, boys, I seen this thing come in, lifting like a white fish. Got big burbot. Got him. Got him. Woo! Got another burb. Nighttime up here in the Muskokas. Last ice, and we're catching burbot. Woo! We got loins. We got loins. But it was a tough night. We only got two that night. It was uh, it was post spawn on the burbot, so they were all deep, and it was really tough to target them uh, amongst that deep water because they're so close to the bottom, and we were tired and couldn't really get bit. But nonetheless, we're gonna be putting the true test today. We got lobster. We got burbot. Let's get cooking. Okay, you can see we're gonna be mashing up all this garlic. Okay, I just did a full clove of garlic right here. All right, we're gonna be mashing that up and then throwing it into the little bowl, okay? All right, so that's all the garlic. You can check it out. There's all the garlic cloves. We're gonna add some olive oil to it. You can see in the close-up, okay. Some olive oil in there. Okay, get a good little base going because remember, this is going to be our sauce, right? Get some good olive oil in there. We're going to add a stick. A stick of butter. A little bit of a butter. Okay. Now we can mash. If you got like a ninja, little like whippersnapper, brrr, probably be better than this, not gonna lie. But when you live in a house with a professional chef, they yell at you because they're like, texture is everything. So, hence why I'm stuck with this damn bowl. See, I would have put it in the, in the blender and then You don't need this, remember? If you need a blender, probably better off using the blender. So, but if you want to be fancy and you have like a date and you don't want to spend like 50 bucks or $60 on lobster, just go to the lake at night, catch yourself a cup of burbot and tell her it's lobster. Like it's that simple. That'll do. You can see it's kind of like a mash. Doesn't look that good, but behold, it is amazing. Next up. Two lemons, okay? Two lemons. Make sure you roll your lemons, ladies and gentlemen. And what rolling 
got to roll it just like that. See? When you roll it, it becomes a lot squishier. Look at this. Look at that. It becomes so much squishier. Very nice. Mmm. I love squishy lemons. Cut them. This lemon is basically what's going to be curing the meat when you put it in the boiling pan. Okay. Now we got the burbot. The yummy burbot. Mmm. You can kind of see how the texture almost looks like a lobster. Like All we're going to do is we're going to chunk them. We're going to chunk it into some good pieces because remember we're going to be putting in a pan after, right? So we want to make sure that these pieces will hold in that pan perfect. Look at those chunks. Look at that chunk. Look at that. Like just a beautiful medallion. Beautiful. You know, people do this recipe. They, it's like um, cod. They use cod. You know, and you can do it called poor man's lobster recipe. But burbot is so similar. We're going to get the burbot cooked up right now. And then we're going to obviously fry up the lobster. The lobster won't take long because you can see like the lobster is very small and I have it already pieced out. So I'm just going to basically um, throw the lobster into a pan with some butter and garlic butter. Let's get uh, this burbot into the pan. So once again, these are, your, these are your ingredients. You got your lemons. That's two lemons. One, two. You got your burbot all loined up and then our one cup of salt. So now that we got the pan on, you can see it's starting to heat up. We're going to add our lemons our sugar, one cup of sugar. And now we wait. This needs to come to a boil first before we add our fish. This is adamant. This is the part a lot of people actually mess up. So this part right here is one of the most crucial parts as to getting the poor man's lobster recipe. And you'll watch a ton of them out there. But the one I found most success is that once you add, obviously your lemons and your sugar into here, okay, I'm gonna stir it in a bit, but you need to let it come to a boil. Now, when it comes to that boil, all right, and you put the fish in, okay, do not touch the fish. Do not touch the bowl. Don't do nothing. Literally just let the fish cook itself. And then when you see them start to float, that's when you can grab them out of the, out of the pot and you can, you know, put them onto a nice paper towel. This is the most crucial part to doing the poor man's lobster recipe and making it most identical to lobster possible is this part right here. Let it boil and then add the fish and then do not touch it. Don't touch it. You know, do not touch. Don't touch. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay, good. Let's wait for it to boil. More butter the better. More butter the better. All right, well you can kind of notice now, when you don't touch, you see how they're kind of floating to the top? That means they're almost ready. Look at this, look at that. People cook it in the oven, but why? Why don't you just put it in a pan, put some garlic butter, and then look. Mm. I need to chew it. Huh. That is literally like the Wagyu of lobster. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a fun little experiment. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, let's go. We're going to start getting these. So we still got our olive, or our garlic butter. When these things start to float, which they are, they're coming up. Okay, we're gonna go right into the pan. Let's see, we hit it out of the ballpark. Look at that. Look at that piece. Oh my gosh. Absolutely glorious. We're gonna do a little taste test right here. Oh. I am telling you, please try this. You guys are gonna lose your mind. Let's go see what they say. That is so close to the real thing. That is like crab. It literally tastes like crab. All right guys, let's bring the food up to them. Let's get them to taste. Let's go. 
Oh. I'm sorry. All right. I don't fucking trust him. He's not gonna do that. I know. So. He's gonna put a Basically, wait, we're doing the taste test I'm now. Feel, so. I'm gonna touch it before I fucking eat it. Listen, mm -hmm. stop complaining. Calm no, down. He's taking. Take, take I'm one. Gonna smell it and I'm gonna t touch it. Okay. Listen. He's got, he's got. Number one is a certain meat, piece of meat. Okay. Number two is the other piece of meat. It's gonna be on the fork already. All you gotta do is eat it. No, you just gotta say which one's better. That's oh, all. Oh, you wanna know which one's which better? One? Or which lobster, or one's this, I'm one's ready. that. I don't know what you. Maybe I'm beef ready. tongue. You gotta figure out which one's the lobster. There you go. You have your plate. I can't see. Mm. That's your mouth. Mm. God damn. That's good. <laughs> mm. No. Mmm. How is it? That's really good. Is that good. lobster? Tastes like lobster. lobster. That's number one. Now wait, hold on. Mm. You can't make assumptions just yet. Okay. Can't make assumptions. No, good. I can if I'm a professional. Can we have Very like, good. Can we have like six, seven, eight more? Like, I, I'm not sure yet. No, I might have to sure. taste that one one more time. <laughs> I liked it, wherever you like are. <laughs> hey, neighbor. But that one, I don't know. It just tasted like lobster. Tasted Unless, that was a lobster. Well, we're going to see it? now when we eat this one. It tasted like lobster. That was lobster. Where's the... Where's okay, the, where's number the fork? two. The fork's in the middle. Right? Oh, yeah, there you go. Number two. Mm, smells good. Wait, why can't I get it? <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you get in your mouth so fast? Mm. What the heck? Tastes good. That's good. But it's not lobster. But it's good. <laughs> it's good. You know what it's like? But, but it's, it's not good. lobster. Very similar? No, you know what it's like? Crab. Yeah, it's crab. It's not lobster, it's crab. Yeah. crab. I would say more crab like. Mm. It's crab. That tastes like crab. That's crab. Yeah, I would say like a crab meat. Mm. Like crab? Yeah, yeah that's crab. That's crab. Mm -hmm. That tastes good. It's very crab. tasty. Nice. That's Unreal, crab. eh? Yeah. That well, good. You what guys, is this? That's, that's burbot. So you guys hit it on the head. The number one was lobster. It's lobster has that significant texture to it. Uh -huh. well, if you did crab and, and burbot, you would have a hard time. Because it's the same texture, the same meat, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right. would you that's say? Crab. So would you say it's the poor man's crab? Yeah. Crab. All right. That's I the agree. new thing. I think I, I prefer agree. that better than crab because I don't have to peel the shell. There, there you go. You, go. <laughs> so, you guys nice. heard it. It's a winner. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? You cooked it really good. Nice, like <laughs> butter, butter yeah. and garlic and whatever. Yeah. Really, really, really Very good. Nice well, it was just boiled so in water. Oh, I don't have That's to use my Yeah, you guys can take it off. Okay. You guys got it. You guys hit it on the head. That was it. I'm going to keep it on. I want a few more taste tests. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw it. It's burbot. That was the, the burbot and the lobster. It's hard really to tell the difference between, or it's easy to tell the difference between the two because obviously lobster has that one significant texture. So they were able to hit it on the head. Um, but if you're looking at like comparison crab to burbot, I think it's pretty close. They said it themselves. This is the most simple recipe you can do, which is water, sugar, and lemons. And you got yourself crab. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we're gonna sit down now at the table. Family's waiting, they're all hangry right now. We're gonna have dinner and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, so.